Hey everyone, in today's video, we are going to show you how we are able to remotely diagnose your car, program your car, and code your car using an amazing tool called Car Connector Remote Vehicle Diagnostics. Currently, this tool supports ENET, KDCAN, and ICOM for all of your BMW needs when it comes to programming. This is our go-to tool, and today we are going to do an overview of this tool and show you how we are able to remotely code a car in this case, it will be an NBT Evo doing some FDL coding. Taking a look at the application, this is Car Connector. If you are going to be receiving diagnostics, you will go under Receive, and your remote technician will give you a session key. You will put it in here, and you will click this box and click Verify key. In this case, we will be providing remote diagnostics, so we would click here. Before we get into that, I want to show you there's some other cool options as well. So we have settings. Inside of settings, we have your IDIBUS path. This is for all the configuration files that are needed. We have your ESYS path. If you are going to be coding your F or G series car, we have UI mode, always go with dark. And we have application language. In this case, we'll leave it as auto. We have our account. We have some help that will bring you to the Car Connector website. I'll have Car Connector linked down below if you want to check it out for yourselves. And then right here, one of my favorite buttons, grab, click on it, grabs the latest version of Car Connector, and I can send it over to the client for remote coding. Super simple. Basically, this application allows me not to have to install any desk or team viewer on the end user's laptop. I essentially send them this, the link to Car Connector. They download it, and then we come up here. We click Provide Diagnostics. We check this box, and then it asks us how we want to connect. Uh, so far, I've been using the Car Connector VPN service. It is absolutely amazing. You can use other services like VP, uh, like our admin, TeamViewer, Amachi. However, the Car Connector network is super stable. So that's what I would recommend. Next, it gives you a network region to check. In this case, you will pick the one that's closest to the car and we can actually see live ping to these data centers. In this case, we're at the cars in the US and it has the lowest ping for our application. We are now brought to the session key. As you saw earlier under receive diagnostics, there was a spot to type in the session key. We can click copy and send it over to the end user client. In this case, I also have the end user client laptop here. So I will type that in right now. So I just clicked verify key and it is now checking the key and you can see the session has started and it is checking the connection to the remote host. It connected. In a second, you will see if we are going to use K KDCAN, we can click KDCAN and it will configure the remote computer for everything needed for the KDCAN cable. So this would be for Windows, uh, this would be for E-Series cars, and it's super seamless to use. Uh, in this case, we are connecting to an F-Series car, so we are going to click ENET. Uh, the ENET cable is plugged into the vehicle. and we are now connected. It is starting to do the processing. This will populate with all of the needed information that pulls back. So it pulls the IP address, it pulls the VIN, it pulls KL15 and KL30, so ignition on or off. This is a really cool function. It even pulls information about the head unit. Uh, it takes a second, but once it connects and reads all the information, it reads it all. Right now it's reading the head unit. So this is awesome information that we can get without even needing any other application. I can see the car's VIN. I can copy it. I can see KL15, KL30. I can see this is an NBT Evo we're connected to. It has version H. It sees the map version and it can see that um, Ethernet is wired up if I wanted to flash. And we can also see the IP address of the head unit. This is awesome information that car connectors automatically grabbing before we even do anything with inside the session. So Right now we're connected. We can see our latency and our performance. This is pretty good. This is a decent number compared to what I've seen on other connections. So let's uh, open up ESYS and start coding. So upon opening up ESYS, I will click on the connection. I'm actually using ESYS Ultra. I'll have this link down below. This is the only version of ESYS that you should be using. It has many, many amazing features built in that you'll see. For example, it automatically found what the car was. Um, and I can click connect. You can see the VIN down there. Press connect again. And just like that, we are connected remotely to a car that is in 
a com on a completely different network in a completely different state than I am in. So we can click read DCTs. This is a, a feature of ESIS Ultra that only ESIS Ultra has. And if we want to read it, codes have been read. We are connected to technically a bench, so there's not much plugged in. But in this case, you can still see that we're doing this 100% remotely. We have car connector up in the background doing its thing, seeing traffic that's going through, not connected to any car on my side. And if we want, we can use ESIS like normal. We can click here, read coding data. And of course, there is a little bit of late, uh, network latency when doing this. It's to be expected because you're not plugged directly into the car. And just like that, I can edit the the file and do whatever I want with this NBT Evo. In this case, we will add video in motion. We will also add entire text message. We definitely want to disable the startup chime. So all these little features that everyone loves to do. This is another cool feature of ESIS Ultra is that we have the um, cheat sheet maker, but it's not what this video is about. It's about car connector. Just wanted to show an awesome application that I love to use also. So we click save and we can click code NCD. And just like that, we are coding remotely. Super simple, seamless. It, it couldn't be more seamless than this. Before using Car Connector, I'd use things like our admin with remote tool and there'd be firewall issues and all this other sorts of nonsense. Car Connector takes care of all of these things for you. And as I mentioned, you don't even need to install any desk or anything like that on the client's computer. And if we go look right here, we can see all the traffic going through. So we know it's actually doing something which is super helpful. This car's still on. And we'll let this finish. Cool, and that's been coded. So super cool. After that's done, we can close the connection to ESIS. We go back to Car Connector. We can see Car Connectors here. And the session's done. I went into the cars, the customer's car, or in this case on the bench, and I made the modifications that needed to be done remotely. And now we can click end session and that closes out the session and the customer is safely able to disconnect from the car. They will also get a pop-up on their screen that basically session's done. They will see that they're no longer in the session. Just like that, session's gone and we're on to the next session if we want to do it again. This tool has been an absolute godsend for me for coding for the last few, few months. I've been beta testing it and it's been, it's made my life so much easier. If you have any questions regarding Car Connector, drop them in the comments down below. I will answer them. The developer will answer them. And this product will be for sale later this year. Right now, it is currently in beta testing. If you want to find out more information regarding the Car Connector application, it will be linked down below. And I'll try to put it on the screen right now. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys need any coding help or diagnostics, programming, keys, Apple CarPlay, be sure to visit EM Performance down below as that is where we will be using Car Connector remotely to get all of these tasks done for you. Thank you guys, and we'll catch you in the next one.